get underway with the ball back and it's with oh a terrible first touch from uh, Harvey Grice has immediately taken off of him it as Ben Sayer steps away from a sliding challenge goes down the right hand side and plays it down the line with Willis Andrew Johnson who shouldn't get there first and, and doesn't as, as a kind of guides it towards the corner flag most players on the move right now it's hoisted in towards the edge of the six yard box headed clear by Grantham as far as Sayer who shoots from the edge of the box never really on target using it too well as Jeff Henderson plays it out towards Joe Walt down the channel looking for Andrew Johnson who turns 360 on the ball down the edge of the box and then does it again releases Foley on the right side cross in it's not a bad one at all it was Ryan Donaldson who was just too tall for the heads up behind it's left on mutual turn shall we say as Andrew Johnson looks to rampage forward out to the left hand side finds Sean Taylor then 25 yards out he's got Chris Reed on the overlap goes to him up towards the byline chance to cross Reed sends it into the area runs up back post there's Foley's header it's down into the ground and gather quickly by Josh Render as Chris Reed heads it out to the left and Phillips who under pressure plays infield towards Foley who just tries to nod it down to Noble looking for options plays it infield to Sayer edge of the box because shoots from distance push clear as far as a mortal's boot it was Andrew Johnson's shot well saved by Render in, in truth and he pulls another team I forget the veil of professionalism slips once more Jeff Henderson has it on halfway. He's going to move out to the right hand side, play a lovely ball down the channel for Sayer, who plays it in field towards Foley, who's in the box, goes round the keeper. What a lovely finish from Jack Foley. Clinical, precise, 1 0 more to town. Goal in six minutes, number seven, Jack Foley. Checks his run and goes back to Donaldson, who's Morton have just seemed quite content to kind of hit half time here. Yeah? Uh, as Chris Reed plays a low flat ball again, Say finds a, a huge pocket of space there in between the two lines. Here's Johnson, who looks to shoot from distance, sends it over the top of the stand, into the car park. He tries to bring it down, but he's, he's fouling Wafulo, and the game continues. And here's Wafulo, who's got a chance to play it down the uh, channel, in behind Wayne Phillips, or up towards the edge of the box, chance to cross it. Decent ball in, and Jeff Henderson just back heels are clear, but only as far as. Uh, it was Shane Clark who tried to burst in the area, but it's cleared once more by Mortworth and they haven't got rid of this mind as Clark's just turned away from Donaldson who needs to drop back in as it's moved out to the right hand side and a chance to cross once more. Not a bad ball in, it's a loop and one and Joe Walton doesn't get anything on it. Sound like someone else we know. <laughs> Goals play up towards the edge of the box, chance to shoot on the turn. Down loud and gathers comfortably. In on this near side. Loop down the line, and it's going to be kept in by Wafulo, who crosses on the turn. It's not a bad one in. There's Williams, who shoots. Just past the far post. The substitutions have changed the game. They've just given them a fresh impetus, and they're able to get the ball down a little bit more. And whereas the first half, more were able to find that pop in the space. The second half, they haven't. Yeah, and, uh, and our midfield's not winning though, those that midfield area at all at the moment as the ball's played over the top and Shaw's in behind him here yeah? clean through edge of the box sliding challenge from Reed. it's a penalty kick that double jeopardy rule as he's booked Chris Reed gets away with a yellow card there 12 yards the substitute see how his nerves are sorted he's going to strike right footed everyone lined up in there to the 18 yard box the substitute strides up the ball right footed oh into the top corner it's a lovely penalty kick and it's 1-1 one, one and longer we're not doing that for even 5 minutes 3 subs at half time and it's changed the game Anyway, the ball is cleared by Render. Again, a free header. Nobody has picked him up. And all of a sudden, they're in the box and a chance to shoot. Plays it over the top. And he managed to get his foot on the ball and kind of make something work. The first half, he was getting in all the spaces and evil. Just going to cut you off here, Sam, just for a second. The Shaw looks to twist away. And Williams has got time and space. 25 yards out, he's going to shoot. Cannoned up in the air. It'll drop for Adamar, who's brings it under his spell and goes back towards the substitute partner. Here's Adamar in field towards Williamson, who's going to shoot from distance. It's low, and Dan Lawson puts something behind it, and there's desperate clearance from Ben Searban. Step inside his man, and he's going to go back towards Jeff Henderson. Every outfield player inside Grantham's half. Noble, out to the right, and Forster. He's got a lot of time and space to cross, but instead just goes down the line to Walton, who's a little bit of time himself if he wants to loop one in. He sends it in, he's going to drop in the box for Andrew Johnson, who shoot, shot's blocked, goes to Sayer, he has Noble on the edge of the box. Tries to dance away from too many challenges and has it taken off as a Grantham player. Forster's challenge isn't particularly um, solid enough, and we don't win the second ball. There's a sliding challenge there from Walton wins it back. Here's Sayer looking to race Foley, who's all on his own. He's got two between him and goal, and they're funneling back in. Noble's inside him, he said he tries to run his man and knocking it around the defensive line. They're determined not to play it long and forward, which is no bad thing, in truth. 
played between the centre halves, and here's Henderson moving towards halfway. Down the line to Walton, who knocks around the corner for Forster, who keeps it in up towards the byline. He's got time and space, he's going to move into the box, goes back to say, there's a goal in! Off the post and deflected behind by Ryan Donaldson. That's as close as we've come to a second goal in this second half. Caps off a day. Here is Jeff Henderson, who's going to go out to the right hand side and Forster, who's got a chance to cross, and it cannons off a man and it'll go out, or it doesn't even go out, it goes, loops up in the end. Clark partially heads it clear, say, heads it into the box. He'll drop on the edge of the area for Noble, chest it down and volleys a goal! And get in! Leo Noble scores! And a decisive second goal for the Highlanders! A lovely finish, he chested it down and volleyed it in from 18 yards. And Mortmouth have the breakthrough in the closing stages, is it a decisive goal? We'll find out by the full time whistle. That's class from Liam Noble. Oh, I'm just going to cut off there as Josh Render has his uh, clearance so nearly blocked by Jack Foley. Just about gets away with it here, Grantham down the line. That's a lovely ball down the flank as well, trying to reach. Aidan Mia, who's got inside Wayne Phillips, he's got a chance to cross low in towards the area. Williamson tries to jockey his way into the box, and there's the final whistle. Mortler take all three points. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back on Saturday when we play Grom's Rose Sporting. Uh, for